Texas was not ready. Not one bit. <laughs> Had no power the last five days until right now. We just got power back this morning. No electricity, no water, um, which has been a real royal pain. I mean, Texas was not ready. People got their asses handed to them um, these last five days. You know, six, eight inches of snow. I mean, completely shut down the electrical grid. Um, what else? Water pipes are frozen. There's apartments, there's apartments around Texas that have busted pipes and it's flooding people's apartments. Uh, luckily not here. I'm good here. Uh, I mean, the roads been shut down. So several crashes on the highways, cars sliding down icy hills. Uh, people, you know, want to be a warrior and try to drive their car up in these conditions. And then they end up just screwing themselves. Uh, Texas is not a place that is, uh, knows anything about how to deal with this kind of weather, frankly. Um, you know, so, I mean, that goes, just goes to show you five inches of snow or eight inches. Of, I mean, eight inches is a lot, but let's just say a little bit of snow and we can't have anything open. No grocery stores, no gas stations, no places to eat. I mean, whatever climate change, believe it or not, something, the winters are changing and we just got hit with a snowstorm and uh, we still don't have water and they haven't really figured out the electricity really either. They're doing what's called rotating outages where, you know, one one area of Austin gets the power and then they take each area takes turns having, having power until they figure out the grid and shit. Um, man, uh, just an eerie feeling out there the past couple of nights. I'll, here's a video I'll share with you guys. Uh, it's like the alarms are going off at night. You'll be driving at night and you can just hear all these alarms will just go up all all across all, all these apartments and stuff. These fire alarms, they just craps out of whack. Electrical systems down, fire alarms don't know how to work. I don't know how, whatever it works, but you know, people, people can turn into crazy people when they don't have available water, no easy food sources, no gas. People turn into crazy people, straight up. Uh, but here's a couple of videos for you guys. Uh, just some of these videos I've been taking around these past couple of days. What the car looks like, what the truck looks like. Truck's got a foot of snow covering up the whole bed. You have to fish that out tomorrow. And uh, very, very interesting times we're living in. Mm. On a better note, uh, winter storm uh, is settling up today, or it's going to have about 50, 60 degrees. Uh, days these next couple of days which will warm it up and I believe Wednesday was to be 72 degrees so uh, by then we'll be fine I did just get my general pump hose reel in this is gonna be my garden hose reel I got about 150 foot of flexzilla on there and so we're gonna uh, put the truck back together tomorrow and uh, we'll have some cool pressure washing video for you guys next week got a couple big jobs I got Roof cleaning, house wash, driveway, and then we're gonna do another house wash and a big driveway. Um, so some big ticket jobs coming up, guys. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Peace. This is insane. <laughs> Come on. Look, she doesn't know what the fuck. Well, it's snow. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm in Colorado. <laughs> Is that Bella? Take it in, because you'll never see this again, probably. Wow, people are on the roads. Check it out. <laughs>